Hello and uh, welcome to day 36 in the Korean 36 days of Uh This means I've only 30 days left. Time's running out. Anyway, um, today I am doing a truth um, day, which is basically when I answer people's questions very truthfully. Uh, so I post it on Facebook and I've got quite a few here. So, uh, first question is by J. Goldsmith. Who asks what is my ideal date and why? Um, I see means a person. Um, I don't really have like anyone particularly in mind. Um, I mean, I'm not kind of like that kind of guy who fantasizes about a certain celebrity or something like that. Uh, I just my ideal date is just someone who's fun. Um, that's the one sort of criteria I look for in girls. I like people who are fun and make me happy. Really gay answer. That's kind of true. And the ideal date is probably to go somewhere fun. So, Fort Park. Um, quite fun to say marine biology. So, I'm going to say a uh, ideal date would be to go to, say, Fort Park. Or somewhere fun. Or aquarium. Something marine biology. So just, just somewhere I can have fun. Uh, one last time I've done my dyslexia form. Yes, I've done my dyslexia for mum. Love you too. Um, Daniel Matic asks, What's your opinion on the current state of the crippled third world? And do you like chips? Uh, my current state on the crippled third world is that we kind of f fuck the third world over every day. Um, if you look at the markets, we tend to sell... We sell... Um, basically, we buy all their shit really cheaply and we sell it back to them like 20 times more to manufacture it um, I think the third world um, is going to stay like that until we enterprise it and develop it and I think it kind of sucks um, I mean it's been I've been in this earth for almost 20 years now and I've not really seen much improvement in the third world uh, and if there is improvement then please correct me but it doesn't really seem like it, we still have AIDS and stuff uh, I think as well we should ban the Pope and all religious people who go around there saying condoms are bad and we need to get them medicated continuously and we need to just, just get business going and yes I like chips as well Dan. Cam J Smith, what is your opinion on rounds and so many arthropods? Now I've looked at this theory and I can't find any um, evidence as to what it actually is um, so I don't actually know. <laughs> what my view on Rowan's Fear Segmented Arthropods actually is, which is quite embarrassing because obviously I study marine biology. Anyway, Ned Bales, if I have five apples and take three apples, what is the square root of sausage rolls? Well surely, um, if you say square rolls, um, uh, if the square root is an, of number is to buy a number by itself, therefore you'd have one sausage roll. So two sausage rolls, one sausage roll divided by one sausage roll equals one. So there you go, Ned. There's one sausage roll for you. Olifec, is P equals NP? Now this is a computer thing, and I actually don't know much about computers at all, sadly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say sadly. Uh, p the P, p versus NP problem is a major unsolved problem in computer science. It's informally asked whether every problem whose solution can quickly verify by a computer can also be quickly solved by a computer. I don't really get. I, I don't get it. That's my that's my honest answer on that. I'm sorry. Uh, Scott Hadley, how big is my penis? Um, last time I measured it, it was about 7.6 inches. There you go. Uh, might be bigger than that. Uh, Can Smith, have you ever had a gay wank fantasy? A gay wank fantasy. Um, no, I've had. I'll be honest with this one, I've never actually uh, wanked over a man. I've had weird thoughts and very weird dreams, um, but never ever had a gay wank fantasy at all. Um, yeah, I mean everyone has gay thoughts and gay dreams, I hope. Feel free to take the piss out of them. They're just weird. You wake up in the morning and just sort of like bash your hands and like, what the fuck happened in that dream? Uh, Beck Carter, have you ever had a really awkward crush, and if so, who? Now this is a great question, Becca. Uh, 
because I've had many awkward questions in my life. This is due to the fact that I used to be a complete loser. I still am. But nevertheless, uh, I'm going to go for the ironic music one, which is actually in year 11, year, year 10, not year 11, I, I own an awkward question on you. There you go. Um, which was really awkward because, of course, you hated me or chose to sort of hate me. And I was sort of like, oh, I can't think of something, I think you're really cool. And yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. And I was sort of like, I'm never ever going to tell you. And I won't care now I told you. So there you go. That was a fun one. Uh, Tom McLeod asks, what has been your favourite gay moment and why? Um, my favourite gay moment... Now, for a guy who just admitted to having gay dreams and stuff like that, I've not really had an actual gay moment, so I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. Uh, that's some funny ones. I remember once in Brighton getting a guy for a fag. And then him thinking I was gay, and I'd be like, "No, mate, I just got you for a fag." I thought that was a deal. Uh, that was quite funny. Uh, what else have I done? Um, that was really funny. I'm getting another guy to convince someone I was gay, and that was quite funny. That was when I was about 16. Uh, the favourite gay moment would have to go to a gay pride when I was 16. And this isn't me. Um, s yeah, one of my friends at the time uh, had. Basically, started dancing with this guy and got him to buy him a drink. Kept dancing with him, got him to buy him another drink. Kept dancing, buy another drink. And so, obviously, you know, this guy... It's just, my friend, it's completely my friend's fault. Um, this guy basically just got his hand on the third drink and just yanked it down his trousers. And it was hilarious. And he totally deserved it, so that was funny. That was my favourite game moment. Right, well, I hope you all enjoyed listening to me ramble for six minutes. And I hope I answered some good questions. Peace out.